And my deepest respects to those who are deserving of it. Join our dear sister in welcoming all of you here this morning. Acknowledge also Pastor Benny will welcome you warmly in the name of Jesus. A very dear couple who have brought their child to be dedicated. It's the right thing to do. Indeed, saying this is God's gift for us. I want to mention the theme this morning of knowing God. May you say, yes, indeed, I know God. But concerning the theme, discipleship, and I know for certain, there are many who have gone to church many years. And some who have just come to Christianity. But I want to touch on truly knowing God. Well, it's important for us as believers. From the very beginning. So I would ask that you would please bear with me. We will go just fairly quickly through it. Because knowing God is concerning searching. Diligently searching. We know that praise knowing God. But it is not merely from sitting still that we know God. Hallelujah. And certainly there must be a seeking. But when life is empty, and I want to bring this illustration from Billy Graham. And certainly he explains it succinctly for us. The emptiness that would often beset mankind. And he would say, you have started your searching journey in your being born. Maybe we may say, I am a child and infant, I do not know anything. But the very day we are born, at that moment we are in search. Many years would pass before you even realize that fact. Before you fully understand that you are searching, searching, seeking for something yet you have not obtained. No doubt we have reached some stage of mankind. But there is something that we are seeking after. The difficulty is that we are seeking in the wrong places. We may grasp it and think this is what I was seeking. Yet we had not attained it yet. 
So that which you are searching is more important than anything in the world. Many times we try to forget it. Concerning that seeking and searching. Many a time we busy ourselves. As to have no more time to wander upon that. You have to set all your attention to the task at hand. Maybe at times you may feel we may be free from a need to seek and search to that thing that seems to be in had no name. And even for a moment, you may be able to fully forsake that seeking. But then you realize that within your life, you are called and drawn back to that searching. And that is the reality. Because God alone. Very one that men find in And when they meet God, that is the wholeness and completeness of God. That is the end of your searching. And many years before, the French gentleman. On a what? 1623, 1623. This was his main place. He was a very wise man. And he said, There is a certain chasm within the heart of man. In every heart of every person. And nothing in the world will be able to fill it. Because I'm except for God alone. No doubt we are. Many a time we try to fill that world with money. We try to fill it with treasures. We try each and every way to fulfill that void. But nothing else in this life. Nothing in this world will be able to fulfill that void in the heart of the Lord. But for God alone. We know the reason of this emptiness. First, we need to understand from the very beginning from whence did man come. No doubt we all understand. We may try to find the answer. We may try to find the answer. We may first to know the problem. That is the problem with Christianity we do not understand. Tells us in the very beginning. That man was made in the image of Hallelujah. Creation. I have to think that the Lord was there. He can wait. Oh, what? 
Fellowship with God is paramount in man's life. And if we do not fellowship with God, we need life is empty. We may have money, but money completeness and peace into man's life. For we were created to have fellowship Hallelujah. with God. Well, without God, life is empty. It is not complete. It is not whole. Right and we see here the problem in the very beginning. The reason why we don't have fellowship with God is because of For Adam had chosen. He would go in rebellion to God. To say down the words. Denied God his right to be his God. The very moment we disobey. Denying his right lordship in our life. Hallelujah. In the garden to free as they would do except for the one in the middle. And the serpent came and deceived them. And Eve partook of the fruit. Gave it to her husband who also ate it. And it shows us disobedience and rebellion to God. The byproduct is death of the rebellion. Romans 3.23 The wages of sin is death. For Jesus Christ our Lord. Separation from God in three years. Orderly, physically dead. The spirit then would depart from the life of men. Genesis 3 19 reminds us. For dust you are, you shall return to dust. That is the physical thing. Firstly, I want to bring to this. Secondly, is spiritual death. The departing from the fellowship with God. We may be alive yet no fellowship with God in the spiritual We may be just walking alive yet. We may say we are healthy yet we are dead spiritually. Isaiah 59 reminds us. Verse 2. We need to be aware of our hearing. So life will come depending on how we hear. We have heard the Bible many times through programs. And it's important for the believer to always hear and read the word of God. That is what has separated us from God. What is it? It is sin. 
Do not play around when we sin. And then like him by the word of God, play with the fire. When you play with the fire, you will be burned. If you play with sin, it has consequences. Not only the consequences, but it separates our fellowship. Thirdly, is eternal death. Revelations 20, 11 to 15 reminds us this morning. Hallelujah. If you do not listen with the children, you will all perish. In the Old Testament, it said Noah saved his household. And he said, that's those times. These times Christ has come and died for us. And every person will be judged according to your own views. Can no longer say the wife. Or the wife. And I was taken a bend of And I had not thought of it that way. I would be safe in his shadow. Then I realized. That God's judgment is done individually, each to his own works. Hallelujah. Church, this you may say that I will still play around with the church. As a parent who tried the most. Maybe because of your relatives. Listen. The books shall be opened. In the book of life will be opened. Whereby we will be If you are not in the book of life, woe be to you. There is no As Adam was made in God's image and likeness. And when his son was born, he was born in the image and nature of God. Remember, Adam had sinned and had fallen and cast out. He was no longer in the image and nature of God. And so his descendants would come of the same image and nature as Adam. Genesis 5 and verse 3. The image had destroyed his fellowship with God. Not only that, but his sex and his children. Meaning mankind also is of the same 
They were born be separated. Psalm 51. David saying how he was born in Such shall we as mankind. The reality why we are all heading towards the grave. Romans 5, 12 to 14. We may not have committed that sin. By inheritance to Adam, we have
Forget your dad, I'll give you something. We cannot forget about it and push it aside. This will be here. Because if we would do like us, and we would try and make God forsake his own righteousness and holiness. And therefore, the punishment for sin is death. And it must be paid in full. Ezekiel 18 and verse 4 tells us. Very nature and The answer for us is Jesus Christ. 
That is God's answer. For the separation of mankind. Jesus. Person's name is Jesus. Christ. In Christ, in the likeness of medium for men became flesh. That he may fully pay for the sin of men. That's why we understand in Jesus Christ. We are fully divine, fully man. But he went through life sinless. He should not have died on that cross. But he died for you and me. God made that very that he became our substitute. And we may be the righteousness of God. No longer sinners. No more enemies, but righteous and holy in his sight. He was a man. And he became our substitute. And died for the sins of all mankind. Galatians 4. Galatians 4. Praise the Lord. Christ is our substitute. The very Lamb of God. In the Old Testament, the Lamb of God. Sacrifice. Christ is the one who stands between man and God. Hallelujah. As we continue on to the table of the Lord. This is what brings fellowship back to us To us as Christians as believers. This is what makes us one. Where he sacrificed the Son of God for you and I. And we are most blessed in it. And we do it in obedience, in remembrance. That we may never forget what the Son of God did for us. Once were sinners we have been made righteous through the sacrifice of Christ. We are here to partake together.